Shredders. We got the Santa Cruz Bullet here. It's a little bit of an oldie, but it's still relevant, still for sale in retail. Let's talk about it. This one we're looking at, it's about $11,000. I purposely went for this size large. It's a little bit too small for me, but I think it's gonna be better. The big dilemma, is this bike worth the price tag? Let's talk about jumping on the bullet. It's the most predictable suspension platform I have ever ridden. It's probably the best jumping bike I've ever ridden, for a long travel bike at least. It's got enormous mid-stroke support, and then the bottom of the stroke's super supportive also. This really says a lot because it comes with an entry-level RockShox Super Deluxe, which isn't the best shock on the market. Let's talk about the Santa Cruz Bullets Trail Manners. What a dream this bike is. Such a weapon. It just wants to go faster and faster and faster. Very composed and confidence inspiring. And having done a bunch of jumps on this, I know it's got enormous mid-stroke and end-stroke support so I can just huck it. Even when the trails turn blue and flowy, I can whip the Santa Cruz Bullet around and jib, jump, it's just still super fun. Contrary to your diehard Santa Cruz friend, nothing is perfect in life. The small bump sensitivity is a little lacking. You know, it has endless mid-stroke and end-stroke support, but the initial part of the stroke with the stock Super Deluxe shock isn't quite as plush as I would like. I'm sure it's a lot better with an X2 or a coil, Let's talk about the bullet on the downhill line. Wow, no complaints here. Who cares about small bump sensitivity and carrying speed when you're going full gravity style? The bullet's an absolutely amazing machine on challenging terrain. It ups my ability and then also allows me to jib when I want to. Oh yeah, this thing is. Let's talk about the good stuff. The Bullet's an absolute shredder of a bike. I'm an average mountain biker to above maybe, and I need a lot of bike to get through super gnarly terrain. I mean, Greg Minar would outride me on a hardtail on this trail, but again, I'm just an average rider, so I need a ton of bike and the Bullet is providing. The bike's pretty playful and jibby, I was kind of shocked. And it's an absolutely great jumper. Let's talk about the bad stuff. Nothing is perfect in life, contrary to your diehard friend, who's Santa Cruz for life. Comes with a 630 watt battery. I can only get about 3,000 feet, 900 meters uphill. This is worst case scenario. I weigh 220 pounds. It's freezing cold outside, the ground's wet. This is worst case scenario. To answer the question, is this bike worth it? Absolutely. If you have downhill terrain that you ride regularly or aspire to ride, absolutely this bike is worth it. 